Hey guys, it's your man AC here. I just recently dropped a single called Girls for Women's History Month. You know, you guys could go check that out when the um, thing is. You know, go check that out, stream it or all stream services, and subscribe to my channel. So today's video is gonna be about my views on women. And sadly, some people think that because some of the posts I share on my social media, or some of the stuff that I say in my poems and whatnot, uh, they think they know my views on women or they assume they know me and know what I believe and what I think of women and sadly due to that I've lost some quote unquote friends or people just try to avoid me because they think again they assume all these things so you're gonna get into it. I love women of all backgrounds and where they came, where they come from, and all of that. I really don't care about your ethnicity, religion, your background, and whatnot. Cause I've had phases in my life where I was into women. You know, you might look at my taste of women, and some of y'all might be thinking it's weird. Like when I was in high school, I had thankful girls who wore black clothing or dark clothing, makeup, and stuff like that because I thought they was hot and they made it work. I was like, ooh. I had a thing from women who wear braces, glasses, and you know, that had big foreheads. Um, Maybe because I had a thing for Debbie Ryan when she was on Sweet Life on Deck. That's probably why I have a thing for women with big foreheads. And um, also Rihanna too, she got a big forehead too, but she be killing it. They be killing it, so yeah. Um, but. Through all of that, I have come across a lot of women, you know, whether you, whether it's from church, my family, my friends in school and whatnot, and I look at the fact that, yo, like, all of y'all beautiful, amazing, and talented, and whatnot. And then I also look at some of the women that go to these open mics, to these venues that I perform, and, I have, and some who I share the stage with, and have talked, and listen, Y'all poets, singers, rappers, songwriters, all you ladies who do those things and then some and more, y'all are dope and I appreciate y'all and I'm glad that I've shared the stage with some of y'all and hopefully I share the stage with some more y'all in the future because again, y'all dope and I love y'all. Um, I know there's this thing called women's intuition and sometimes some women can use that for bad and they use it as a bad way to come at guys. But I love it when women use their women intuition to where they think about things ahead of time and come up with different options whether to help you better yourself or better your career. Like, I know I have a few women friends who, you know, have a few guys friends such as myself or they have boyfriends and um, because of how smart and intelligent they are, they think of ideas and plans and steps, like five, six steps ahead of us. And sometimes us guys don't think like that. You know, we're, we're just all about, you know, we're just gonna do it at that instance and then whatever happens, happens. But I appreciate women who are able to do that. And I love that about y'all, you know. Like y'all boss ladies, y'all dope, all that stuff. Which leads us to my next point. I love women who are ambitious, who are driven, who are confident, who are independent, who are boss lady that's out here getting that bag. Like, go get that bag, sis. Go get it. I'm all for it. I'm all for women being, you know, powerful and being at the head of the tables, being leaders. Uh, sadly, there are some guys out there that still have a problem with that to this day. I'm not one of those guys that have a problem with women being confident or women being CEOs or whatever the case and whatnot. I actually know some pretty dope women who run their own businesses and cur they're curators and they're just being dope at it and you know, shout out to y'all, you know? Last, I was raised by a beautiful black woman who is my mom. And as I, as I was becoming this man that I am today, I've also encountered some pretty dope women in my life from my cousins, to my aunts, to some of my friends in school, or who I've gone to school with, to some of the ladies in my church, to, uh, again, women who I've shared the stage with at open mics at different venues, and who I've contacted and talked to and whatnot. And 
all of y'all just dope in ways where, you know, y'all showed me that, listen, they're all good women out here. You know, sadly, due to my experience, I've dealt with some crooked, scandalous women. Uh, that could be another video for another day and whatnot, right? Personally for me, I'm not into women who are scandalous, who are ratchet, that have no ambition, or who wants to play the victim role and blame all the men in this world for their problems just because they dealt with a few bad apples. Or if I decide to come at some of these celebrities and role models who represent some of these same negative toxic things that I mentioned in this video, all of a sudden people want to get in uproar, they want to get mad, they want to be like, oh you can't say this and you can't say that and by you saying what you said, you think like this or you think like that and they want to throw all the names at me. And one of the names I often hear from people who claim to know me is misogynist. And let's break down this word misogyny slash misogynist. I'm paraphrasing. But if you look at the definition of misogyny, you will see that it means hatred for women, aversion, or prejudice against all women and all girls. Now, I'm a man who believes you should stay true to your word and clarify if you need to. But if I was a misogynist, I wouldn't have made poems uplifting women, show my appreciation for women, hold the women in high esteem. I wouldn't have shared or made statuses that talks about women pushing their dreams, go chasing the bag, be themselves, and not let no man tell you how you're unworthy because you don't meet his unrealistic standards. And with that same instance, I have K-Mac guys who mistreat women, musicians who think that it's okay to call women the B-word or call them hoes and whatnot and all their popular party songs. I've also come at men who try to use skin complexion to invalidate women's beauty or to say that they're not beautiful because they're not the skin complexion that they want them to be. And I also wrote a poem about toxic masculinity and I also have a song talking about what it is to be a real man and I talk about toxic masculinity on that song on the EP that just drop in November so at this point if you still call me a misogynist or whatnot because you disagree with what I said but what I'm saying doesn't lead to that at this point that's a personal problem and you're just not paying attention and honestly deal with it because I don't have to clarify anything to you straight up so hopefully Watching this video, you have a clear understanding of my views and my stance as it relates to women. And I hope all the ladies that are watching this, you have a smile on your face at this point. You are worthy, you are amazing, you are beautiful. Stay being dope, stay being yourself. You know, just, just continue to be you. This world would be nothing without all you women. And I appreciate each and every one of you that I know. And I love you all.